the 721 liters entry level aluminum fixed gear for some mystical reason captured the hearts of newer fixed gear riders including myself in the early 2010s this may come as a shock to some of you but yes a white leader just like this 721 was my dream bike at some point. Although it's a little embarrassing for me to admit that fact, these days the 721 is still a completely capable bike that can be built as a solid and reliable fixed gear. Now let's check out Jonathan Vu's Beater Leader 721. Speaking of checking out bikes, to learn more about the bike that I personally ride, feel free to stick around to the end of the video to learn more about our channel sponsor, Wabi Cycles. Leaders have always been a bit of an oddity with their stretched out geometry, sloping top tube that fixed gear riders often have a strong distaste for, and number decals that always seem to look slightly misaligned on said sloping top tube, and a peppering of quality control issues with each frame set, but that hasn't stopped them from being the go-to aluminum frame set from 2011 to 2014. It's always been a bit of a mystery to me as to how exactly this curiosity of a bike was able to capture so much of the aluminum fixed gear market back then, but when you step back and take a look at the bigger picture, it starts to add up. Leader was one of the first Fixie Bro brands, and they capitalized on this with the 721's thick 6061 aero aluminum tubing that gives plenty of real estate for sticker bombing, a geometry that doesn't have toe overlap, making them more approachable to newer riders, and a wallet-friendly price with blemished 721s frequently selling at steep discounts. Jonathan Vu's 2014 721 stays true to its roots, built up as a low-key but dependable beater commuter, and keeping it real with Fixie Bro stickers for added Fixie points, and pairing the aluminum frame with a Leader i805 carbon aluminum fork. But I can't help but notice that uh, your bike doesn't have some official Fixie Point stickers. Be sure to check your inbox. I will send some your way completely free for you. For the cockpit, we have the 64 centimeter wide, Nitto B809AA risers for sufficient comfort for commuting, rise to see over traffic, and enough leverage for fixie tomfoolery. The bars are attached to an 80mm 0-degree Thompson X4 stem, giving the cockpit some tasty contrast between the bars and stem, and honestly, more people should run this color combo because gosh darn it looks sweet. And I must say thank you for pairing your wide riser bars with a shorter stem because I see Way too many fixed gear riders using super wide risers with their regular stem, giving them what I call the carpal tunnel syndrome fit. And although this bike is a beater, if you're going to splurge on one place, it should be the cockpit since that is the only part of your bike that you see while you're riding. Moving on back to the captain's seat, we have a saddle that can best be described as black on top of a Jameis carbon seat post that tastefully accents the fork's carbon weave. Down to the pedals, we have plastic platforms that Jonathan lists as shrug emoji, fixation gates foot straps that are structurally sound enough to stand on their own, so you can actually get your dang foot in them. At the heart of the bike, we have a random set of 144 BCD Aventon cranks that were probably commandeered from a parts bin with an All City rebranded Andel track chainring in 47 tooth. The cog is a 17 tooth four years that's 100% on this bike because it's blue anno, making for a spinny ratio perfect for the aforementioned fixie tomfoolery. And the drivetrain runs with a KMC Z1 chain. Rounding out the build, the front wheel is an unidentified 20 bladed spoke that at the very least was trued by the owner and wrapped in an equally mysterious tire that is in fact bald. The rear, you know it's a beater when the wheels are different, was scrounged from a state core line and wrapped in a 25C Continental Ultra Sport tire. And if you want to be wrapped in a reasonably dangerous shirt, be sure to check out zackalotto.com slash merch. Much like Leader themselves, the mix and match nature of the 721 build makes it a bit odd, but charming in a way that I can't help but to really like. It's a purpose-built beater after all, and it only needs to do one thing, get from point A to point B reliably. It's easy to get caught up in the cutting edge of bike parts and yearn for the flashiest, most expensive components when all you really need is to be resourceful and the desire to start having fun. The driving force behind fixed gear is making the most of what you have, and this beautiful beater of a leader 721 certainly accomplishes that. And if you want to have your bike featured and get some Fixie Point stickers, check out those instructions in the description. 
And speaking of bikes you should check out, Every one of Wabi's design choices are meticulously made to give the purest ride quality for the money. And Wabi executes those choices perfectly with their bikes handmade by master craftsmen in Taiwan and a friendly bike shop in Denver, Colorado that's eager to answer your questions and get you on a bike you'll love. Wabi's relentless attention to detail results in Wallace, my 58 centimeter Wabi Special, weighing in at a grand total of 17.5 pounds straight out of the box. That's well under 20 pounds for a stock bike with completely steel, lugged frame set, and no carbon components. And that weight isn't just for quoting and impressing other cyclists though, it results in the best riding experience that I've ever had with a snappy and lively ride quality that only top tier steel can bring. That pure fun makes it easy for me to ride my Wobby Special as my only bike. If you're looking for a bike that puts an end to your search for the perfect bike, consider checking out Wabi Cycles linked at the top of the description, as it really is the closest thing that I've ridden to a perfect bike. And Fixie Famous shoutouts to Stan Strong 108, Julian Corona, Ryan Witt, Eric Cavallo, Crooks, and Gio Dezera for helping to make these fixed gear videos possible through their support on Patreon. And remember, life is short, but don't make it shorter, so be sure to ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.